Hello everyone! Welcome to EduTech Asia 2020. I am Bentley D. Rojas and I'm the head of the Educational Multimedia Center in the University of Perpetual Health System, Dalco, in the Philippines. I had been in the IT and IT education for the past 27 years. And it is an honor to share knowledge in the Asia's Digital Festival of Education, EduTech Asia 2020. Come and join me in exploring one of my research, the impact of robotic process information or what we call RPA in the corporate world. Okay, we are now here on my presentation. The impact of robotic process automation in the corporate world. Okay, our introduction, the robotic process automation or RPA does not represent neither physical nor mechanical robot. It brings to our mind a vision of some electromechanical machine. As we all know, when we talk about robot, we're talking about physical or hardware, right? So in short, in this case, we are not talking about the hardware, okay? In terms of robotic process automation, robot, refers to a software-based solution programmed to carry out procedures, processes, or tasks on the repetitive way that are usually done by human. So when you said robot in RPA, we're talking about software. So it's a, the intangible part of the computer. So the question is, what is robotic process automation? or what we call RPA. So RPA means it is an application of technology that allows employees in a company to configure computer software or a robot, okay? Take note, <laughs> robot, to capture and interpret existing application for processing a transaction, manipulating data, triggering responses, and communicating with other digital systems. So it is a software you know, that will be incorporate to your existing software application. And that is what you call robotic process automation. The next slide is, here you will see that it will really explain how the RPA or the robotic process automation really works. So take a look. Okay, RPA is a feature of intelligence process automation, or what we call IPA, that describes logic-driven robot executing pre-programmed rules on mostly structured data. RPA takes productivity optimization to the next level by redefining work and reassigning employees to execute higher value activities, process bots are capable of independently performing simple human-like function, such as interpreting, deciding, acting, and learning. So take a look at the left side of the screen, which is called about the robots. In the robot, there are our computer-coded software, enabled automation of repetitive rules-based process, mimic interactions of users and work across functions and application. This is what the robots do, or what we call the RPA do, no? Then, as you can see here, process robot capabilities, automated data entry, multi-system integration, repetitive or repetitive tasks, process reconciliation, data validation and quality, and processing simple business rules. So all of these things are being done by the robot, or what we call the software application. Okay, so I think this diagram would be able to help you how to understand the robotic process automation. Okay, the benefits. What are the benefits of the robotic price automation? Okay, on this slide, these are the RPA benefits. Enhanced user experience, positive impact on operational metrics through automation, 
Easy on the go access from multiple devices. Easy reach to expertise. Quick decisions. Non intrusive integration with enterprise system. Automated knowledge management and diagnostics. Real time unified view. Contextual information. Guided support through structural collaboration. Reduce change management. Reduce operational costs. Increase turnaround time and increase productivity. So as you can see, there are a lot of benefits if you will be applying in your company the RPA. We're gonna on our next slide, the impact of robotic process automation to the corporate world. So what are the impact of the RPA in the corporate world? According to Ravnit Kohli of Sinecron, Robotics is surging multi-billion dollar market because it provides businesses incredible savings and efficiencies. With robotic process automation for consumer and business applications, which are expected to become an 8.7 billion market by 2024. So by 2024, it will be a 8.7 billion market already. So that is one of the impact. Next slide talks about the key impacting or the automation business case of GIC. So take a look at the impact. Business case impact. Potential extent of automation. Okay, number of FTEs replaced per RPA license. Recurring cost of RPA implementation. Okay. Minimum of 15% automation across process under consideration. One robot to replace a minimum of 1.5 FTEs. And maximum of recurring costs of US 17,000 per license per year. So those are the impact of RPA in the business sector. Another one is what are the things that can be automated? Okay, these are the top processes to be automated. Number one, document and records management. So all your records will be a uh, process to be automated. Number two is claims, booking, invoice management. Number three, customer relationship management. Number four, human resource processes. And number five, information technology processes. So these are the top five processes to be automated in the businesses. Now, the question is, will the robotic process automation or RPA replace humans? That's the big question. Of course not, okay? How it will not be the case, okay? RPA frees agents from the repetitive Task and let them unleash their invaluable potential to focus on value-added work and deliver greater customer experience. RPA indeed gives room to innovation, creativity, and collaborative development. So in short, uh, the connotation that the robots will replace human is actually not true. No? It will actually give the humans or the employees, uh, what you call the opportunity to evolve. So my conclusion on this uh, research is about, with software robot automatically executing their choreography uninterruptedly, weakly, flawlessly, and traceably, traceably, while at the same time being easy to implement at rel relatively low cost compared to traditional process automation. RPA comes along with both qualitative, okay, so quality, and quantitative sorry, numbers objectives. Organizations may apply RPA for one or more objectives, such as process performance, efficiency, scalability, auditability, security, convenience, and compliance. So this is 
my conclusion. If you have any more questions about the topic, please visit my professional portfolio website at https colon double slash www.bentleyross.com. You can contact me or leave a message on the website. So this is the website. So you can visit me there, you can leave a message, you can blog, etc. So just visit me on that website. And that's all for my presentation. Thank you very much for listening and have a good day. Thank you.